ship holiday. <laughs> Today, Peppa and George are going on holiday with Granny and Grandpa Pig. <laughs> Will you be OK without Peppa and George for a short while? <laughs> yes, I think we'll manage. Bye-bye, Goldie. I will miss you. Have a lovely holiday. And don't forget to call us on the phone. <laughs> bye. Bye. bye! Bye! Where are we going, Granny? We're going on a cruise. Ooh, what is a cruise? It's a holiday on a big boat. Like your boat, Grandpa. Yes, but a bit bigger. The cruise ship should be here somewhere. It's there, Grandpa! I say, what a big boat. The cruise ship is a very big boat. All aboard! Welcome aboard the sunny ocean, our solar-powered cruise ship. Unbelievable. May I see your tickets? Thank you. I am Captain Otter. Enjoy your holiday. Please follow me to your cabin. A cabin is a bedroom on a ship. Ooh, a big bed, little bed, television. How civilised. And we can see the sea. <laughs> <sighs> oh, it's so nice to get away from everything. Grandpa Pig. Oh, <laughs> that's his new here. It is Mr Stallion and Mrs Corgi. Yes, what luck. Pepper and George, maybe it's time we explored the ship. OK, then. Au revoir. Toodle, Pip. Pepper and George are exploring the cruise ship. I wonder what we will find. <laughs> George has found a paddling pool. <laughs> you can't paddle now, George. We are exploring. Oh. I can stay here with George. <laughs> <laughs> Which way now, Grandpa? Let's just keep walking. I say, a jungle cafe, a video game room, a cinema. <gasps> and a lift! This boat has everything. Hooray! Soft play! <laughs> Peppa loves soft play. Whee! <laughs> Hello, I'm Rohan Rhino. I'm Peppa Pig. Have you ever been on a big boat before? I've never been on a boat this big. Peppa, I think we should be getting back now. OK, Grandpa. Bye, Rohan. See you tomorrow. We will just go back the way we came. Oh. Bookshop. Space cafe. This is not the way. I wonder where Peppa and Grandpa Pig have got to. <coughs> Come on, George. Let's wait for them back at the cabin. Excuse me, which way to the paddling pool, please? Just through that door. Thank you. No, this looks different. I think we're lost. Can I help you? Ah, Captain Otter. This paddling pool is wrong. We have ten paddling pools on the ship. I see. Maybe we should just go back to our cabin. Of course. Your ticket will show you the way. Every ticket has a colour, a shape and a number. Blue, triangle, six. That's right. Just follow the arrows. Blue, this way, Grandpa. Triangle, down. <laughs> Easy. One, two, three, four, five, six. Peppa, Grandpa Pig, wherever have you been? We got a bit lost. But clever Peppa found the way back again. Have some pizza. It was delivered to our cabin. Pizza, pizza! How civilised. I love this cruise ship holiday. <laughs> Everybody loves a cruise ship holiday. <laughs> Tropical day trip. Peppa and George are on a cruise ship holiday with Granny and Grandpa Pig. Wake up, George. <laughs> there are lots of things to do on this boat. Well, actually, Peppa, we will be getting off the boat today. Is it the end of the holiday? No. <laughs> We're a long, long way from home. We thought it would be nice to get off and have a look around. Step this way for the Tropical Island Day Trip. 
we going in a little boat, Granny? The big boat is too big to stop at a tropical island. This is a tropical island. Welcome to our island! Oh, how wonderful! This is rather pleasant. Thank you very much. This is the tropical island marketplace. Can we buy something, Granny? I don't see why not. Grandpa Pig has found a colourful shirt. This looks rather fun. Granny Pig has found a tropical gnome. And this would look lovely in our garden. <gasps> Grandpa, can I have this dancing dolly, please? Of course you can, Peppa. <laughs> George wants that little guitar. This is actually a ukulele. It's a very calming musical instrument when played correctly. Ukulele! <laughs> yes, please, we'll take it. Ah, <laughs> uh, lovely. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Rohan. I got a little wooden box with holes in it. Oh. It's a present for my pet beetle, Bernard. <gasps> I need to get a present for Goldie, my pet fish. What does Goldie like? She likes swimming around and going like this. Maybe Goldie would like a cuddly whale. Yes. <coughs> Can we get this for Goldie the fish? That's a kind thought, Peppa. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Doing a bit of tourist shopping, are we? Oh, uh, yes. Oh, so are we. Can't resist. I think we have to go and make a phone call now. I need to speak to Goldie. Toodle pip. Bye. Here is the Tropical Island Telephone. I wonder what everyone on the other side of the world is doing now. Uh, hello? Who is this? It's me, Daddy! I'm on holiday, remember? Oh, Peppa, how's the holiday? It is very nice. Can I speak to Goldie, please? It's Peppa, for you. Hello, Goldie! I am on a big boat with a pirate and a mermaid and we saw a whale. And do you remember me? <laughs> Are you all enjoying yourselves? Yes, Mummy. Here is George. George, hello. What's the best thing about your holiday? Potato. Potato? Potato? <laughs> Pepper and George are going back to the cruise ship. Well, I think you will all agree that was splendid. Yes, Granny Pig. Nothing else we do today could top that experience. Potato. Except for a ride on potato, of course. Hello, Granny Pig. What can I sell you today? Mr Fox, what are you doing here? I've got a shop. There are a lot of people on board this ship who need things. Like an egg on a stick, a top hat, or a pirate beard. Oh, that's just what I was looking for. See what I mean? We built some things too. So I see. Well, if you need anything else, come to me. I know what I need. Some food. Who else is hungry? Me! Yeah, oh, me! Pepper and George are eating dinner on the deck of the cruise ship. Pigetti! <laughs> Tomorrow, the holiday cruise ship will take Pepper and George home. Swimming lesson. Today, Pepper and her friends are having a swimming lesson. They are in the little pool. The children can touch the bottom of the pool with their feet. <laughs> OK, let's start. Miss Rabbit is in charge. Has everyone got a float? Yes, yes Miss Rabbit. The floats are like spaghetti. Tuck the floats under your arms and swim about. The floats make swimming easy. I love swimming. Yay. I love swimming too. <laughs> Hello. It is Rebecca Rabbit with Mummy Rabbit. Hi, sister. Oh, hi, sister. Sorry we're late. No problem. We've only just started. <laughs> Look at me swim, Mummy. <laughs> that looks like so much fun. I wish I could swim. You can't swim? No, I never learnt. I'm a bit worried about water. 
Well, sister, I think it's about time you had a swimming lesson. Yes, you can join our lesson. Oh, I'm not sure. It's a children's class and I'm a bit old for lessons. You're never too old to learn something new. Please join us, Mummy. OK, then. I'll just change into a swimming costume. Right, I'm ready. Mummy Rabbit is going to join the children's swimming lesson. Oh, good. It's not deep. Yes, this is the little pool. OK, sister. Pick up a float. Tuck it under your arms. Now, lift your feet up. OK. Oh, <laughs> look at me. I'm swimming. Well done, Mummy. Yes, sister. That's brilliant. This is such fun. Ah! I've got water on my face. A little splash of water is fine. But I don't like it. I didn't like it before. That's right. Gerald always kept his head high out of the water. But now I can swim with my face in the water. Amazing! But I could never do that. A little splash of water is fine. No, I can't put my head in the water. Gerald, can you show my sister what I taught you? Yes. Put your chin a teeny little bit in the water. Let's all do that. OK. That feels fine. And now we all... Blow bubbles! <laughs> OK. Here goes. <laughs> that was easy. Yes, very good, sister. And now we... Blow bubbles and swim along. Like this. <laughs> I'm doing it! <laughs> You're as good as me now, Mummy. <laughs> and now it's starfish time! Yay, starfish! The children lie on their backs like starfish and float. Very good, Starfish. Do you think I could have a go? Of course. Lie on your back like me. OK. <laughs> Amazing! It works! I'm a starfish! <laughs> <laughs> well done, sister. And, as we've all done so well today, I'm going to get out the inflatables. Hooray! The inflatables are the best bit. There are lots of inflatables. Fruit, a slide, and even an inflatable cheese. This is the biggest cheese in the world. <laughs> Look at me on the slide. <laughs> My goodness, that looks fun. Mummy, come and join us. Can I? Can I really? Of course. We can't let the children have all the fun. <laughs> Do the slide, Mummy. OK, here goes. <laughs> You're brilliant, Mummy! This is so much fun! <laughs> Mummy Rabbit loves swimming lessons. Everyone loves swimming lessons. Water park! Pepper and her family have come to the water park today. Hello, everyone! Miss Rabbit is in charge. These are the changing rooms. Please change into your swimming costumes. Yes, Miss Rabbit. <laughs> Daddy Pig is wearing his swimming costume. <coughs> Mummy Pig is wearing her swimming costume. <coughs> Pepper is wearing her swimming costume. <coughs> and George is wearing his swimming costume. <laughs> <laughs> wow! This looks amazing! Yes, there's bubbles and slides and all kinds of watery fun. <laughs> this is the Bubble Bay. Pedro Pony is here with his mummy. Hello, Peppa. Let's play in the bubbles. Bubbles! No. <laughs> 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 the bubbles lift you up and tickle you. <laughs> oh, yes. That feels good. <laughs> oh, lovely. Bubbly, wobbly, bouncy bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> this is the tipping bucket. Mandy Mouse is here with her mummy. Hello, Peppa. Squeak. Hello, Mandy. You've got to try this. It's brilliant. What do I do? You wait here until the bucket is full. 
then what happens? <laughs> Something sounds like fun. Can I have a go? Yes, Mummy. You go next. What do I do? You wait here until... Until what? Ah! Oh, oh, no! I'm all wet! Although, I suppose that is the point of coming to a water park. Oh, <laughs> let's do the water slides. <laughs> here are the water slides. <laughs> There's a tiny slide for little children <laughs> and a really big, ginormous slide for the people who like that kind of thing. Look at me on the slide! <laughs> That's very high. Daddy Pig does not like heights. <laughs> George, let's do the tiny slide. <laughs> Mummy, Daddy, you have to watch us. OK. We're watching. <laughs> Ready, steady, go! <laughs> that looks fun. I'm going to have a go. OK. We'll stay here and watch you. Sorry, Daddy Pig. You can't wear glasses on the water slides. Oh. I'll look after them for you. Daddy Pig cannot see very well without his glasses. Oh, dear. These are the steps to the big, ginormous slide. Daddy, we're waiting. Sorry, I have to go slow without my glasses. Daddy's taking a long time to climb up the tiny slide. Hurry up, Daddy. <laughs> These steps are taking forever. Where is Daddy? There he is. Hello, Daddy Pig. I didn't think you liked heights. Eh? Daddy Pig cannot see where he is. What are you doing up there, Daddy Pig? Sorry, what did you say? Daddy Pig cannot hear because he is so high up. <coughs> Sit back and enjoy the ride. OK, here goes. <laughs> <laughs> You did the big ginormous slide. Oh, oh. You are brilliant. Here are your glasses, Daddy Pig. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. That was actually the best fun ever. Maybe it helped that I couldn't see anything. <laughs> Daddy Pig loves the water park. Everyone loves the water park. <laughs> Monkey trees. Today, Pepper and her family are visiting an adventure park. Welcome to Monkey Trees. Miss Rabbit is in charge. What do we do at Monkey Trees? You climb through the trees like monkeys. I just hope we don't have to climb too high. Daddy Pig does not like heights. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. You'll be wearing a harness, so you can't fall. If you lose your balance... Oops! The wire will hold you. <laughs> it looks fun. Me first. <laughs> My turn. <laughs> and now me. I just have to keep my balance. <laughs> I don't know what I was worried about. This isn't high at all. That's because this is the practice bit. What? The real course is high up in the treetops. Ah. Oh. Don't worry, I'll be down here giving you advice. That's good to know. Follow the wire. It will lead you where you have to go. The steps are going high into the treetops. Here is the wobbly bridge. <laughs> Danny Dog and his daddy are crossing it. Hello, Danny. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Wow, we are so high up. Brilliant, isn't it? As long as I don't look down, I should be fine. Oh, this bridge is wobbly. That's why it's called the Wobbly Bridge. You're doing great. <laughs> wibble, wobble, wibble, wobble. Wibble, wobble. <laughs> um, maybe I'll wait here for a bit. <laughs> Come on, Mr Pig. We can't cross until you cross. What's the hold-up? There is a queue behind Daddy Pig. Ah, what's going on? Sorry, everyone. 
Okay, here goes. Whoa! <laughs> I did it! I did the wobbly bridge. Oh, oh. Well done, Daddy. <laughs> These are the swinging hoops. Oh, there's nothing to walk on. Just use your arms to swing from hoop to hoop, like a monkey. Um, I'm not sure. Come on, Mummy. You have to go first so we can go. OK, here goes. <laughs> oh, my goodness, this is hard work. <laughs> I can't hang on anymore. <laughs> Mummy, Pepper, and George are hanging from the wire. Now what do we do? You need something big and heavy to push you across. Ah, I see where this is going. Hang on, here I come. <laughs> well done, Daddy Pig. <laughs> it's what my tummy was built for. <laughs> This is the ginormous zip wire. Brilliant! <laughs> this is the last bit. Mr Rabbit will give you some help. Just decide if you want to go head or feet first. Definitely feet first. Feet first, off you go. Woohoo! <laughs> Pepper and George, head or feet first? Head first. <laughs> Head first, off you go. <laughs> and Daddy Pig? <laughs> well, I'm certainly not going to say head first. Head first, <laughs> off you go. No, there's been a misunderstanding. I want to go feet first. <laughs> Did you have fun? <laughs> I must admit, that was quite fun. No, Daddy. It was the most amazing good thing in the whole wide world ever. <laughs> Peppa loves monkey trees. Everyone loves monkey trees. <laughs> little cars. Today, Peppa and her friends have come to the Little Cars Play Centre. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is in charge. Welcome to the Little Cars Play Centre. We've got little roads, mini traffic lights and even a tiny roundabout. Ooh. And best of all, you get to drive these little mm. toy cars. Can I drive the blue car? Of course, Peppa. Ooh. Just pedal with your feet to make the car go. OK. Turn the wheel to steer <laughs> and beep the horn. <laughs> Good beeping. Remember, today is all about having fun. <laughs> I'm going to drive the racing car. <laughs> I won the rocket car. <laughs> Mandy Mouse's car works by electricity. I like this car. I am driving the carrot car. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Happy children enjoying themselves. <laughs> Which way do we go? Anywhere you like. <laughs> it is Police Officer Panda and Police Officer Squirrel. Hello, hello, hello. 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 What's going on here, then? We heard beeping of horns. Is there a big traffic problem? No, it's just the children having fun. What's that? Fun, you say? Yes, this is the little car play centre. We like beeping. <laughs> Stop! You're going all over the place. You're not driving like responsible adults. But we are little children. You are still in charge of vehicles. What we need here are some rules of the road. Please follow us. <laughs> here we are, happily driving our cars. You see? No need to beep. <laughs> We've arrived at a pedestrian crossing and an old lady is waiting to cross. What old lady? Miss Rabbit, would you mind pretending to be an old lady? Oh, of course. No problem. I'm an old lady. You see, children, old ladies walk slowly. What do you think we should do? Beep the horn 
to make her go quick. <laughs> no, no, no. We have to be patient and let her cross in her own time. Yes. I'm an old lady. I can't go faster than this. Mind you, this one's taking forever. Perhaps I should let her know we're waiting. Police! Yeah! Move off the road! Good. Now the road is clear, we can move on. <laughs> oh, here's a traffic light and it's red. What does that mean? Stop! Correct. When can we go? When the light is green. Very good. When the light turns green, we can go! <laughs> Wait for us! <laughs> Now, children, this is a roundabout. Who knows what we do here? Drive around it. That's right. So I want you to <laughs> all go the same way. <laughs> yes, uh, that was interesting. And uh, <laughs> I think that's as good a point as any to stop for today. The children have all done brilliantly. Say thank you to the police for today's lesson. Thank Thank you. You're very welcome. And I hope you've learned at least one thing about beeping your horns. Um, don't beep the horn all the time. That's right. Don't beep the horn all the time. Hello. We're here. The parents have arrived to collect the children. Peppa, have you had a nice time? Yes, Daddy. It's been great. <laughs> Peppa loves little cars. Everyone loves little cars. <laughs> Surfing. Peppa is on holiday at Kylie Kangaroo's house. What are we going to do today, Kylie? We're going to the beach. Yippee! I love the beach! <laughs> Everybody ready? Yeah! Then let's go! <laughs> this is the beach. Wow! Look at the sea! And the waves! <laughs> yeah! You'll need life vests for the water. <laughs> Dad, are we good to go surfing now? You're all good. What is that? It's a surfboard. What do you do with it? You lie on it and the waves push you along. Ooh. Come on, Peppa, I'll teach you. <laughs> it's easy to float because the board is super floaty. <laughs> the tricky bit is catching the wave. Ready, steady, now, Peppa. Kylie is being carried along by a wave. <laughs> Don't miss the next one, Peppa. <laughs> Ready, steady, go! Whee! Isn't it awesome? Yes, it's brilliant! Whee! <laughs> Surfing is the best thing ever. It's true. <laughs> Surfing is the best thing ever. Ready? <laughs> George wants to go surfing. <laughs> Sorry, George, you're a bit too little to go surfing. Oh, the waves are getting too big for Pepper and Carly. Oh, is it time to go home? Are you kidding? These waves are perfect for grown ups to surf. Woohoo! <laughs> He's out there with Mum. <laughs> Having fun, Joey? <laughs> <laughs> Your turn to surf, guys. Thank you, but I'm quite happy to watch. Why don't you have a go, Mr Pig? Why not? It does look fun. Aw, the waves have gone. Too bad, Mr Pig. Looks like you've missed your chance to surf today. Oh, that's a shame. But it's just right for little George to go paddling in. 
<laughs> I'll come with you, George. <laughs> no surfing, George, but you can sit on me instead. George likes sitting on top of Daddy Pig. <laughs> Look at that wave coming! Crikey, it's a big one. Daddy, there's a big wave coming! Wave! wave. wave. What's that? Wave. 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 <laughs> I think they want us to wave, George. Cooey! <laughs> Cooey! <laughs> George is using Daddy Pig as a surfboard. <laughs> wow, George has got great balance. <laughs> Hooray! You're a natural surfer, George. Maybe you can teach me a few tricks. <laughs> George is the best. <laughs> <laughs> Surfing, Mummy. Yes, what a fantastic holiday we're having. So, what's planned for tomorrow? Are you, uh, staying another day? I could stay here forever. Well, I do have to go to work tomorrow. They can come along too. Mm, OK. Well, I suppose that might be... Hooray! <laughs> Pepper is having a lovely long holiday with Kylie Kangaroo. <laughs> Soft play. It is morning. Pepper and her family are having breakfast. Oh, there's a letter here for George. <laughs> <laughs> it's an invitation to Richard Rabbit's party. Sounds fun. I'll take George to the party, as long as it's not at that awful soft play centre. It says soft play. Ah. Daddy doesn't like the soft play centre. Last time he got stuck and was rescued by a helicopter and a fire engine and a crane. It wasn't exactly like that, Pepper. It was only a helicopter. I think soft play sounds lovely. I will go with you, George. <laughs> <laughs> it is time for Richard Rabbit's party. <laughs> Bye. I'll be back to pick you up later. You're very welcome to stay if you want. It's soft play, isn't it? No thanks. <laughs> Hello. You're very welcome to stay if you want. See you later. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello, Mummy Pig. I quite understand if you don't want to stay. No, I'll stay. Us grown-ups can have a nice quiet chat while the children play. Oh, OK. <laughs> This is the Soft Play Centre, where everything is soft, so children can bounce, swing, squash, slide, and play! This is great! The children are having so much fun! Yes, I just hope we can get them out at the end! <laughs> the little children have been playing all day. Home time, children! <laughs> that was a lovely party, wasn't it? Yes! Have you all had fun? Yes! Are you ready to go home now? No! <laughs> oh, my goodness! We're never going to get them out! There's only one thing for it! I'll have to go in! Good luck! Ooh. <sighs> ah! I'm stuck! Help! Don't worry, I'm coming in! Oh, no, I'm stuck too. Help! Hello! Mr Elephant has come to collect Edmund Elephant. Mr Elephant! Help! We're stuck! <laughs> no problem, ladies. I'll get you out. No, don't! You'll get stuck! It's a trap! Ah! I'm stuck! <laughs> Daddy Pig, Pepper and Susie have come to collect George. <laughs> Ah, what good little children you are. Ah, <laughs> uh, where are your parents? Help! Help! We're, We're stuck! stuck. Ho, oh, oh, ho, that usually happens to me. That is going to happen to me, isn't it? I'm going to go in there and get stuck. Me and Susie can go in. We're smaller. That's kind of you both, but it is my job. As a grown-up, I must do this. 
Ready. Don't worry, Peppa. If I get stuck, I will ring for the rescue services. <laughs> ah, yes, I'm stuck. Lucky I've got my phone. Hello, rescue service. Oh, you're in here too. Yes, I'm a bit tied up at the moment. So there's no one to rescue us. We're here, Daddy. <laughs> we will rescue the grown-ups. That tickles. Hey! Thank you, Pepper and Susie, for rescuing us. Hip hip! Hooray! Hooray! Now we can all go home. <laughs> the little ones have gone back inside. Peppa, can you bring the little ones out now? Yes, Daddy. But we might have to play a bit first. <laughs> Peppa and Susie love the soft play centre. Everyone loves the soft play centre. <laughs> Peppa and George are going on holiday. They are packing their bags. You can't pack everything. But we need to take all our toys, Daddy. <laughs> Just take the important ones. OK. I'll take Teddy and George can take... Dinosaur. <laughs> Mummy Pig is packing a Big bag for the holiday. Wow, that's a lot of stuff, Mummy Pig. Are you sure we need it all? Yes, it's all very important. OK. <coughs> it is Susie Sheep. Hello, Peppa. Do you want to play? I can't play today, Susie. I'm going on holiday. Oh, where are you going? I don't know. Somewhere where there's holidays. <laughs> that sounds nice. <laughs> oh, Granny and Grandpa, why are you here? We're here for Goldie the fish. We're looking after her while you're on holiday. Here's Goldie. Don't feed her too much, Granny. OK, Peppa. <laughs> it is Mr Bull in his taxi. He is taking Peppa and her family to the airport. <gasps> Hello, Daddy Pig. Let me take that bag for you. Whoa! Ah, that's heavy. Are you sure you need everything in here? Yes, it's all very important. Bye! 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 Bye-bye! This is the airport. Goodbye! Have a lovely holiday. Tickets, please. Here they are. Any bags? Yes. I'm afraid this one's a bit heavy. Don't worry. Just pop it on the scales. <laughs> Anything valuable in it? No. Any more? Yes. <laughs> You can take those little bags on the plane with you. Just join the queue over there. This is the X-ray machine. What's this, Daddy? It's a machine that looks inside things. Ooh! Put your bags on here, please. Look, it's my bag with Teddy inside. Dinosaur. <laughs> That's mad. This is the aeroplane that will take Peppa and her family on holiday. Aeroplane! Yeah. George loves aeroplanes. Welcome aboard. We hope you enjoy your flight with us today. Can I sit next to the window? <laughs> of course, Peppa. <laughs> yes, George, you can sit next to a window too. <laughs> This is Captain Emergency speaking. Is everybody ready? Yes, yes Captain, Captain Emergency. Emergency! Then let's go! <laughs> Look, Teddy, they're flying. What can you see out of the window, Peppa? It's all cloudy and rainy. Oh, 
that's because we're on top of the clouds. The plane is flying higher and higher. Oh, are we flying up to the sun? No, but we are going somewhere sunny. The Holiday House. Pepper and her family are flying to another country for a holiday. We hope you have enjoyed your flight. Please fasten your seatbelts. This is Captain Emergency speaking. We are about to land in Italy. Oh, Italy. That sounds nice. The aeroplane has landed. Hooray! <laughs> oh, dear. Pepper has left Teddy on the aeroplane. Now we need a car to drive to our holiday house. Here is the place to borrow cars. Hello. Buongiorno. Come posso aiutare una così bella signora? In Italy, people speak Italian. Oh, um, we need a car. Non capisco. Let me handle this. I'm an expert at talking. <clears throat> we need a car. Uovo. Not eggs. A car. Um, no. Not flowers. No. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> ah, auto. Hey, hey. Brum, brum, beep, beep. Well done, George. <laughs> this bag is heavy. Oh. Are you sure we need everything in here, Mummy Pig? Yes. It's all very important. Are we going to get lost like we always do? <laughs> no, Pepper. The sat-nav will tell us the way. Benvenuto all'auto del futuro. In Italy, the sat-nav talks in Italian. Proseguire sulla... Maybe we don't need the sat-nav. Uh, let's go this way. Remember, Daddy Pig, this is another country. They may drive differently here. Oh, oh, driving is driving, Mummy Pig. It can't be that different. <laughs> Strada, porco! Driving in Italy is very different to driving at home. Hello! Yes, we're on holiday. Daddy, why are they beeping their horns at us? I expect they're saying hello. Can we say hello back? Of course we can. Hello! Everyone is so friendly here. <laughs> Pepper and her family are on their way to their holiday house. Ah, we're almost there. Yes, I can feel myself relaxing already. Teddy! I love Teddy on the aeroplane! Eh? What? We have to go back for Teddy. Uh... Oh, dear. It is a policeman. Hello, officer. I don't know what I was doing wrong, but I promise I won't do it again. Good day. I am returning this young bear. He was left on the aeroplane. Oh, thank you. Teddy! Have a lovely holiday. Here we are. Pepper and her family have arrived at their holiday house. <laughs> what have you done? Got in this bag, Mummy Pig. It's all important stuff for our holiday. A lovely plant, our computer, tin food, hot water bottles, some winter clothes in case it gets a bit chilly, the telephone. Let's ring Granny and Grandpa. <sniffs> Granny and Grandpa Pig are looking after Goldie the fish while Pepper is on holiday. Are you sure we're feeding Goldie enough? I'll just feed her a pinch more. Hello? Hello, Granny. Can I speak to Goldie, please? It's Pepper for you. I miss you too, Goldie. <laughs> <sighs> it has been a long day. Now it is time for bed. Good night, my little piggies. Pepper and George are fast asleep in their holiday house. Long train journey. Pepper and her family are having breakfast. Oh. What's the matter, Daddy Pig? I need to go on a long journey for work. Can we come?
come to? It's work, Pepper, and it's a long, long way by train. Choo choo! <laughs> Please, can we go? It won't be fun. I'm testing concrete. I need to know the relative density to mass to calculate for voids in the aggregate. I need to know that too. Uh, what does Mummy Pig think? I think it sounds lovely. But it's hundreds of miles away, in another country. Please, Daddy Pig. All right. We can all go. Hooray! This is the train station. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is the train driver. All aboard! <laughs> Full steam ahead! Are we nearly there yet? No, Pepper. It's a long journey, so you'll just have to be patient. <sighs> Why not sing a song to pass the time? OK. Clickety-clack, clickety-clack, the train runs on the track. Huff and puff, huff and puff, clickety-clickety-clack. I've sung a song. Now are we nearly there? Oh, oh, there's still a long way to go, Pepper. We won't get there until tomorrow morning. But what about bedtime? Where will we sleep? Right here. But this isn't a bedroom, Daddy. Watch this. <laughs> Magic beds! <laughs> and here's where we brush our teeth. A magic bathroom. There's a little basin with little taps. And that's not all. A magic toilet. I wonder what this button is for. Ah. <laughs> Daddy has found the magic shower. <laughs> Hello. Passports, please. Of course. Ah, you are Mr. Pig. The Mr. Pig. You must be coming to test our concrete. Uh, yes. Do you know me? Oh, your work in concrete is famous in our country. Oh, but I have disturbed you. Good night. Uh, good night. It is bedtime. <sighs> night, night, Pepper and George. Night, night, my little piggies. Night, night. Pepper and George are tucked up in their little beds on the train. Clickety-clack, clickety-clack, the train runs on the track. Huff and puff, huff and puff, ba da 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 boop, boop. It is morning and time for breakfast on the train. Good morning. Miss Rabbit, aren't you meant to be driving the train? It's fine. The train runs on rails. It can't get lost. Would you like coffee or orange juice? I'd like both, please. No, coffee or orange juice. You can't have both. I don't think we have to be so strict with the famous Mr. Pig. Coffee and orange juice. Thank you. excuse me I am King Alfonso. Could I have a coffee and orange juice too? No, that is impossible. Pepper and her family have arrived at the end of their long train journey. We are honoured to have your visit, Mr. Pig. Thank you. Here is the concrete for you to test. Daddy Pig is an expert at concrete. Hmm. Very good. Hooray! I hope the train journey wasn't too long and tiring. No, it was lovely. What do we do now? My job is done. So we can take the train back home. Oh, goody. We get to sleep on the train again. <laughs> Peppa loves long train journeys. Everyone loves long train journeys. <laughs> Peppa goes to Paris. Peppa is going to Paris today to see her friend Delphine Donkey. Is everyone ready? Yes, Daddy Pig. Then, Paris, here we come. Mummy, where is Paris? Paris is in France. We go on a ferry to get there. What is a ferry? Ha <laughs> ha, you'll see. This is the ferry. Wow. <laughs> there are lots and lots of cars in here. Let's go up on deck and breathe in some fresh sea air. Look, Mummy, the boat is rocking about. 
Yes, Pepper. Mummy Pig doesn't like it when the boat rocks about. All this sea air is making me hungry. Who wants to eat? No, thank you. The waves are getting bigger. Here, I brought you a fried egg sandwich. Oh! Land ahoy! <laughs> the ferry has arrived in France. Remember, Daddy Pig? They might drive differently here. Oh, oh, driving is driving, Mummy Pig. You see, it's just like driving at home. Ah! de la Hello there! Hello! Hello. <laughs> Pepper and her family have arrived in Paris. Delphine Donkey and her family are here to meet them. Bonjour. Bonjour, Delphine. <laughs> Bonjour <laughs> means hello in French. <laughs> what would you like to see in Paris? I want to see everything. Oh, <laughs> it is impossible to see everything. In that case, I would like to see the real hidden Paris. The Paris that the tourists don't see. Bravo, Mr. Pig. Tell me, which part of the real hidden Paris would you like to see first? The Eiffel Tower. Ah, OK. This is the Eiffel Tower. Wow, this is busy. Imagine what the tourist places must be like. Look, Mummy, it's Miss Rabbit. I didn't know you had a job here, Miss Rabbit. Excusez-moi, I am not this Miss Rabbit. I am Mademoiselle Lepin. Oh, I'm sorry. Souvenirs! Get your little Eiffel Towers here! The real Eiffel Tower is really big. Can we climb up it? Um, it looks a bit high. Daddy Pig does not like heights. <laughs> Do not worry, Mr. Pig. We take the elevator. Going up. I'm glad that's over. Oh, no! That is just the first stage. Now we must climb the steps. Ooh, ooh, ooh. If you feel dizzy, Daddy Pig, just close your eyes. OK. This is as high as we can go as visitors. Let's look at the view. Ooh. These steps are going on forever. Oh, dear. Daddy Pig is not looking where he is going. He is climbing up and up and up. What a wonderful view of Paris. It's lovely. Yes. What do you think, Mr. Pig? Mr. Pig? Where is everybody? Ooh. Daddy Pig is at the very top of the Eiffel Tower. Hang on, Daddy Pig. Ah. I must call for the rescue services. You're here, Miss Rabbit. I am not this Miss Rabbit. I am Mademoiselle Lepin. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. I am going to get you down. Ah, I'm going even higher. What can you see, Daddy? I can see everything. <laughs> My Daddy came to Paris and he saw everything. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper is on holiday in Australia at Kylie Kangaroo's house. I love it here at your house, Kylie. Yes, I could stay here forever. It's great having you all stay, but I will have to go to work today. What is your job, Mrs Kangaroo? I'm a marine biologist. What's that? I study sea creatures, like these little fish here. Ooh, a fish tank. But the fish I study don't live in a tank. They live in the sea. Do the fishes in the sea have little bridges to swim through and treasure to play with? <laughs> no, Peppa. That's just the sort of stuff people put in fish tanks. Would you all like to come and see where I work? Yes, please. I've been to where my daddy works. There was a telephone, lots of paper and colouring pens. It was a very nice office. I think you'll find my office is pretty fun too. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mr Pig. 
This is my office. Where? There, Pepper. The sea. I've got the best office in the world. But how can you work in the sea? With this submarine. Wow! wow. Do you want a ride? Yes, please. OK, hop in. <laughs> That's coral. Coral is made of lots and lots of tiny creatures. Ooh! And the coral stretches for miles and miles. We call it the Great Barrier Reef. It's my job to keep the coral safe. Can we take some coral home with us? Sorry, Pepper. We can look, but we mustn't touch. If every visitor took a little bit of coral home... Soon all the coral would be gone. We must never, never take anything away from here. Ah! Oh, look! Little fish! They're clownfish. Clownfish? <laughs> they do look quite funny. Look over there! A big blue starfish! There's a tiny red one! And a spiky green one! What's that? That's a turtle! Ooh. Hello, Mrs Turtle! How are you today? <laughs> you see how lucky I am to work in such an amazing place, Pepper? <laughs> A little bridge, just like in your fish tank. Oh, <laughs> you're right, Pepper. It is quite like the fish tank here, except there's no treasure chest, of course. <laughs> <laughs> what have you seen, George? It looks like a chest full of gold coins. Wow! wow. George has found a treasure chest. You see, Daddy, everything is the same as the fish tank. Uh, yes. That gold must be worth a fortune. I think I can get it. But you said we must never take anything away. I meant natural things that belong here. That's right. These gold coins don't belong here, so we need to remove them. It will all go to a good cause. Yes, it'll pay for lots more marine research. Hooray! That was a good day at the office. We saw coral and fishes and a turtle. This is a great holiday. I don't want it to ever end. <laughs> but you are going to leave sometime, right? Oh, not that you aren't welcome to stay as long as you like, of course. Thank you, Mrs Kangaroo. <laughs> this holiday is the best. <laughs> Pepper is having a lovely holiday with Kylie Kangaroo. Tiny Land. Mummy and Daddy Pig are taking Pepper, George and Susie Sheep to visit Tiny Land. Daddy, what is Tiny Land? It's a world just like the real world, Pepper, but very tiny. It will be fun and educational. Is it real? With real tiny people living in it? No, it's just pretend. If everything there is tiny and small, then we will be giants. And we will go, hello, little people. <coughs> and they will go, ah, giants. <laughs> I can't wait to get there. Stop! What's the problem, Mr Bull? There's no problem, Mummy Pig. We're just digging up the road. Will it take long? It will take as long as it takes. <gasps> but we're going to Tinyland today. Oh, I love Tinyland. Everything's so tiny. <gasps> and educational. That's important. Through you go. Thank you, Mr Bull. Thank you. Stop! <laughs> You let them through. They are going to Tinyland. That's important. Welcome to Tinyland, where everything is really tiny. And educational. Feast your eyes on the world of famous places. Wow! 
These are exact copies of real famous buildings, but a bit smaller. Ooh! Here's Big Ben, and next to it, the Eiffel Tower, just like it is in the real world. And the pyramids, Sydney Opera House, Statue of Liberty and the Kremlin. But these famous buildings aren't all on the same street in real life. Aren't they? Well, you learn something new every day. Oh, look at that! This is the land of water. Ooh, there are tiny little boats. And there's even a tiny Miss Rabbit. Boats! Boats! Get your boats here! <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is just one of my many jobs. This looks just like Pirate Island. And there are some pirates. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Dinosaur. This is the land of dinosaurs. Wow! This is how the world looked a long time ago, before houses and cars and stuff. Wow! Here is a Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> Ooh! And over there is a Triceratops. <laughs> One is a herbivore and the other is a carnivore. Oh, look! They are playing together, just as they would have done. Amazing! This is exactly as it would have been all those millions of years ago. Except for the train. All aboard! There you are again, Miss Rabbit, driving the train. <laughs> Where's it going now? To tiny modern land. <laughs> clickety clack, clickety clack, the train went on the track. Puff and puff, puff and puff, clickety clickety clack. <laughs> <laughs> this is like where we live, Pepper. Yes, there are houses and cars and hills and trees and trains and planes and boats. <laughs> it's a busy world. 24 hour non stop. Stop! Oh, it's broken. No, it's not. Look there. Stop! It's a tiny little Mr. Bull digging up the road. That's what happened to us on our way here. Tiny Land is just like the real world, down to every tiny detail. We're digging up the road! <laughs> caves! Today, Pepper and her family are visiting the caves. Molly Mole is visiting the caves too. Hello, Molly. The caves sound exciting, don't they? Yes, I'm looking forward to the Ride of Doom. Uh, Ride of Doom? What's that? I don't know, but it sounds good. <laughs> Hello, here is Mr Rabbit. I'm your tour guide. Please put on these safety hard hats. Will the case be dangerous? Not at all. Follow me for a completely safe tour. Good. All that talk of the Ride of Doom had me worried for a moment. I'm your tour guide. Oh. Here is Grampy Rabbit. Let's go on a wild, mad adventure! Oh, should we put on these safety hats? Why not? <laughs> Does anyone have a problem with going deep underground? Um, I'm not too keen on small dark spaces. Uh, like a cave, you mean? And I'm not so good with heights. I see. Anything else I should know? George and I like exciting places. Brilliant! These caves are ridiculously exciting. Please, follow me. <laughs> These steps take us down into the caves. Ooh, this is fun. Yes, it actually is quite fun. It's good not to know exactly how deep we are. We're a hundred metres down now. Imagine, if you will, the tons and tons of rock just sitting above our heads. Great. <laughs> Welcome to the caves! Ooh! It's so pretty and sparkly! <sighs> Amazing! Look! There's a little boat! All aboard! <laughs> you know what? 
Because this cave is so huge and beautiful, I feel fine about being down here. Now we go through this little tunnel. <laughs> it can get a bit squeezy. Breathe in. <gasps> <gasps> Everyone out of the boat. I can't say I enjoyed that. Don't worry, we won't go through any more tunnels. Good. We just have to cross this chasm. Whoa, that looks like quite a drop. Yes, it's wonderfully deep. I'll show you. See how long it takes this rock to hit the bottom. Wow. So, how do we get across? Did you hear anything about a ride of doom? Molly Mull said the Ride of Doom was the best bit. Uh, what exactly is this Ride of Doom? Nothing to be alarmed by. It's a zip wire ride over this chasm and down to the deepest part of the caves. Oh, goody! <laughs> it's really fun and, of course, completely safe. Wow! <laughs> Uh, I'm not very good with heights. Is there another way to... Uh... See you on the other side! Ah! Wait for me! Ah! Ah! If that isn't the craziest fun in the world, I don't know what is. Ah! It was brilliant! Did you enjoy it, Daddy? Uh, yes. Here, at the deepest point of the caves, our tour comes to an end. Any questions? Uh, how do we get out? Oh, a good question. We take the lift. Here we are, back on the surface again. Ah, <sighs> daylight. Welcome to the gift shop. Look, there's a picture of us on the Ride of Doom. <laughs> Daddy, you look funny. That will help you remember the Ride of Doom forever. Thank you very much. <laughs> Pepper loves caves. Everyone loves caves. <laughs> the Big Hill. Today, Pepper and her family are going for a walk in the countryside. What a lovely day. Perfect for walking. <laughs> Aha! Here's a sign showing all the ways we can go. So which way do we go? You choose, Pepper. Um, let's go that way. That way leads up a big hill. That is a big hill. What's at the top of the hill? Well, as it's such a big hill, there's probably something amazing at the top. I want to see the something amazing. Are you sure you want to climb all the way to the top, Pepper? Yes. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Pepper and George are climbing the big hill. Mummy and Daddy Pig are climbing the big hill. Phew! My legs are tired already. <sighs> I knew it wouldn't be easy. Yay! The top! We did! Hooray! I don't think this is the top. Look, the hill carries on. Yes, that wasn't the top because it didn't have the something amazing. <laughs> Do you really think there will be something amazing at the top, Daddy Pig? Well, there's got to be a cafe or something. A cafe? <laughs> Brilliant! That will keep me going. Ah, nearly there, George. <laughs> It is hard work climbing the big hill. Oh, I can't wait to get to the cafe. Um, when I said there's got to be a cafe at the top, I should have added there's a chance there won't be any. Hello there! It is Miss Rabbit's cafe. Amazing! What can I get you? Coffee for Daddy Pig and me, and juices for Pepper and George. Of course. <laughs> Thank you! Thank you! Mm. This is just what I needed. Yes. It really was worth climbing to the top. Oh, this isn't the top. What? No, you have to keep going up. That way. OK. We've got this far, so we have to keep going. Onward and upward. <laughs> <gasps> Mummy, why did they make hills so big? <sighs> 
Peppa. I hope <gasps> the amazing thing at the top is amazing. Yes, I hope so too. Oh, it's all gone foggy. Oh, I think we're in the clouds. We must be near the top. It's getting flat. I think this is it. We made it. Hooray! Hooray! Wow! I can see the whole world. Look, there's the playground. <laughs> I can see the supermarket. And there is Susie. <laughs> I told you it would be amazing at the top. It is amazing. <laughs> now all we have to do is climb down. Well, going downhill is a lot easier than going up. Come on, George. <laughs> Let's roll a bit. Whee! Whee! Pepper and George love rolling down hills. <laughs> that looks fun. Can you roll, Daddy? I think if I started rolling down, Pepper, I might not be able to stop. <laughs> Daddy Pig has tripped on a mushroom. Oh! Rolling down was really fun. Can we climb up the hill and do it again? Of course, but maybe we'll save that for another day. Yes, the big hill will always be here. Oh, goody. <laughs> Peppa loves the big hill. <laughs> Everybody loves the big hill. <laughs> Peppa and her family are in America, on their way to Hollywood. Are we nearly there yet? I don't know. Let's stop and look at the map. Hmm. So, what have we got here? It's another Miss Rabbit. Is everything all right, Miss Rabbit? Sir, did you know that you may only stop on a freeway if it is an emergency? But it is an emergency. We've won tickets to be in Super Potato's new movie, Vegetables in Space. So we need to get to Hollywood. Oh, well, in that case, just hang a right and then you head straight on until you see the stars. But it's daytime. The stars aren't in the sky. They're on the ground. Ooh. Ooh. Thank, Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Rabbit. Bye. We've got to look for the stars. <laughs> star! George has seen a star. And another star. There are lots of stars all over the ground. There's Super Potato! Am I a bird? Am I a plane? No, I'm a potato! And I am Hash Brown. Ooh. And I'm Peppa Pig. <laughs> We won a ticket to be in your movie. Vegetables in space. Then let's get to the studio. We've got a movie to make. <laughs> Here is the movie studio. This is where we make the movie. Wow, it's like we're really in space. That's right. Time to put on your costumes. <laughs> Pepper and her family are dressed up as broccoli. <laughs> Mummy Broccoli. So do you, Pepper Broccoli. Shh! No talking on set. We are about to start filming my movie, Vegetables in Space. Lights. <laughs> camera. Action! Attention! The galaxy is being taken over by a bunch of naughty carrots. Not the carrots! Yes, the naughty carrot bunch. I, Super Potato, am here to save the day. And I, Hash Brown, will save the day too. Um, what do we do? You are the vegetables in space. You have to cheer when we save the day. Oh, okay. How are you going to save the day, Super Potato? Uh, we haven't thought of that bit yet. Oh, no! The naughty carrots will destroy the universe! If only there was some way of getting rid of them! We can't eat the carrots! But there are too many! Hello? Hello there? 
What's this? There are some fans here to see Hash Brown. It is Miss Rabbit, Miss Rabbit, Miss Rabbit, and Miss Rabbit. Hooray! It's the Miss Rabbit! We decided to take the day off for a change. We couldn't miss Hash Brown. He's our favourite potato starch-based movie star. <laughs> You're too kind. Uh, could you help us save the universe? We have to eat the carrots. Sure thing, we're rabbits. We love carrots. Save some for me. I love carrots too. Look, it's our Miss Rabbit. Mmm, yummy. We did it! The universe is saved! Hooray! Thanks to Peppa Pig. And all the Miss Rabbits. You're, You're welcome. welcome. Actually, I'm here to take you home. Oh, already? <coughs> bye bye, everyone. Bye. bye. Have you had a good time in America, Peppa? Yes, it's been amazing. What was the best bit? The best bit was everything. Peppa has had a wonderful time in America. <laughs> canoe trip. Peppa and her family are going on a canoe trip. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Can we have a canoe for the day, please? Yes, here you go. You'll need life jackets. <laughs> and paddles for Mummy and Daddy. Thanks. Have a lovely day. I'll call you when it's time to come back. Uh, which way do we go? You can go either way. Let's go that way. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> oh, we're not moving. And it's really hard work. That's because you're paddling against the flow of the river. Try going the other way. OK. Oh, that's much better. It is easier to paddle with the flow of the river. Happy canoeing! Pepper and her family are off on their canoe adventure. Let's pretend this is a jungle river. And we are the first explorers to ever come this way. Will we see wild animals? Oh, yes. All kinds of wild and fierce animals. It's Mrs Duck. Ho, ho. I wonder what other dangerous creatures are swimming in these waters. Will there be crocodiles? Well, we're not really in the jungle, so I don't think we'll see a crocodile. Ah! Hello there. Here is Mrs Crocodile. Oh, hello. Are you having fun on the river? Yes. <laughs> Me too. I was just out for a swim. Lovely. Bye-bye. Bye. Look at those lovely plants on the riverbank. Yes. Let's stop and do a bit of jungle exploring. I hope we see a lion. Oh, I think it's unlikely we'll see a... <laughs> Hello there. It is Mr Lion. I'm having a picnic. Would you like to be part of it? Uh, I've got lots of lovely fruit and a big bowl of salad. Ooh, my favourite. Yes, salad. What could be a better lunch? Mr Lion likes picnics. Everyone likes picnics. So, you're canoeing down the river. Yes, we're having an adventure. Ha oh, ha, fantastic. I think you'll like the next bit of the river. It's very exciting. I like exciting. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Hmm, I wonder what Mr Lion meant when he said the next bit would be exciting. Careful not to hit that rock, Daddy Pig. Don't worry, Mummy Pig. It's only one little rock. See? That was easy. More rocks, Daddy! The river is going faster now. Ah! Hold tight, everybody! Whee! Oh, watch out! <laughs> We survived. That was the best. Again, again. Yes, let's go through the exciting bit again. Again, again. Uh, if I can possibly avoid it, I never want to go through that bit of river again. What's that noise? It's time to come back. Oh, we have to take the canoe back. Ah, yes. 
so we do have to go through that bit again. Ready, Mummy Pig? Ready, steady, go! <laughs> it is very hard work to paddle against the flow of the river. We are going really slowly. Hi again. Do you need a push? Yes, yes please. please. <laughs> <laughs> We're back. Amazing. How are you moving against the flow without paddling? Ah! Hi there. Mrs Crocodile, you startled me. Oh, sorry, Miss Rabbit. I was just giving them some help. Yes. Thank you so much, Mrs Crocodile. You're very welcome. That was the best canoe trip in the world ever. Peppa <laughs> loves canoe trips. <laughs> Everyone loves canoe trips. <laughs> Be the zoo. Peppa and her playgroup are visiting the zoo for the day. Children, are you ready to see all kinds of animals? Yes, Madame Gazelle. Today, we will be meeting wild animals. Ooh. But don't worry, the wild animals will be safely behind fences. <laughs> ah, a lion has escaped! Hello, I'm Mr. Lion. Welcome to the zoo. It is Mr. Lion, the zookeeper. Hello, Mr. Lion. You've picked a good time to visit. It's feeding time. Ooh. This way to the animals. <laughs> Here are the tortoises. Ooh. We keep this gate shut so they don't run away. They don't look like they could ever run. No, they're moving very slowly. Yes, that's why they live to be so old. How long do they live? Tortoises can live a hundred years. Wow! Now, feeding time. Who knows what tortoises like to eat? Uh... Tortoises like to eat vegetables. That's right. That's why we feed them lettuce. Mr. Lion is feeding the tortoises lettuce. But of course, children, not all animals eat vegetables. That's right, Mrs. Wildebeest. My name is Madame Gazelle. Sorry, Gazelle, Wildebeest. For some reason, I always get those two mixed up. <laughs> Mr Lion, what animal will we see next? I'll give you a clue. It lives in water. Is it a whale <laughs> or a shark? <laughs> Wait and see. <laughs> Look carefully into the water. I can't see anything. There's nothing in there. Wait, I think I see something. Ah! Crocodile! Hello, I'm Mrs Crocodile. I'm the keeper in charge of the penguins. Ah, oh, penguins! Adorable, aren't they? And now it's their feeding time. Penguins eat fish. Ooh. Penguins are very good at catching. And waddling. <laughs> <laughs> and they like to swim. If you look through the glass wall, you can see the penguins swimming underwater. Wow! They're really good at swimming. Yes, that's why we have this fancy pool for them. Very interesting. Thank you, Mrs Crocodile and Mr Lion. It's our pleasure, Mrs Wildebeest. Gazelle. Of course, yes, Gazelle. <laughs> <laughs> What animal are we meeting next? I can see it. It's very tall. It's a giraffe. Yes, that's my dad. He's a keeper at the zoo. Hello, I'm Mr Giraffe. Hello, Mr, Mr. Giraffe. giraffe. What sort of animal are you looking after? See if you can guess. <laughs> <laughs> Look up there. There's a net. It must be a flying wild animal. It must be hiding, watching us, waiting to pounce. <laughs> Ooh, butterflies! Mr Giraffe looks after the butterflies. Is it the butterflies feeding time? Yes, and the butterflies get all the food they need from these flowers. It is amazing they can live on just the food from flowers. I wish I could get by just eating flowers. 
Yes. All this talk of eating has made me quite hungry. Me too. Well, it's our feeding time now. What's for lunch today, Mr. Lion? Ho oh, ho! Lunch boxes for everyone. Sandwiches, fruit juice, and an apple. Little picnics in boxes. Tuck in, everyone. Hooray! Mr. Lion loves feeding time at the zoo. Everyone loves feeding time at the zoo. Digger World. Pepper and George are visiting Digger World. Digger, Digger. <laughs> George likes diggers. I like diggers too. <laughs> and today, you'll both be driving real diggers. Wow. Here is Mr. Potato. Welcome to Digger World, where all your digger dreams come true. <laughs> this is the Sand Digger ride. Ooh. Pepper and George, jump on board. Mummy and Daddy Pig, you have to pedal. Oh. oh. <laughs> now, fill up this big bucket with sand. <laughs> Yes, fun! <laughs> Excellent work, children! Now we flip the bucket over, give it a tap, and voila! Hooray! Pepper and George have made a big sandcastle. Let's go to the next ride! This is the wall building ride. <laughs> Stack these soft blocks to make a wall. Hurry up, Mummy! OK, Peppa. <laughs> Pedal faster, Mummy! Oh, I'm going as fast as I can, Peppa. <laughs> Nearly finished. There. A lovely wall. <sighs> Here comes George with a demolition digger. Meow. <laughs> oh, dear. George has knocked down Peppa's wall. <laughs> oh, ho! Building things up, then knocking them down. It's all part of the fun at Digger World. <laughs> this is the grabber machine. How do we play this one? Let's hope it's not pedal powered. Mummy and Daddy Pig do the pedaling. Uh oh. oh. Pepper and George use the grabber to win a lovely prize. There are Mr. Potato dolls or toy dinosaurs to be won. I'm sure. OK, George, let's get a dinosaur. <laughs> this way, George. <laughs> no, no, that way. Back, forward, down. Hooray! <laughs> We've got the dinosaur. Dinosaur toy is too heavy for the grabber. Oh, ho, ho. try again! Oh no! We got a Mr. Potato doll! The Mr. Potato doll is just the right weight for the grabber. Aren't you lucky? And he's yours to keep! Oh. But the best news is you have earned your digger badges! You are fully qualified Digger Drivers! Hooray! <laughs> Thank you for visiting Digger World, where all your Digger dreams come true! Bye! Bye-bye! <laughs> I really like Digger World because we get to drive... Stop! It is Mr Bull. What's the matter, Mr Bull? We're building a wall across the road! Digger! Digger! Mr Bull, can we drive your digger? Oh, I'm afraid children can't drive diggers. But we've been to Digger World. We've got badges. Oh, that's OK then. Hop aboard! <laughs> I'll drive the digger and you can have the important job of pushing the buttons. <laughs> OK, now, push the button. What? This red one? No, the green one! Ah! The digger has knocked over the new wall. Sorry, Mr Bull. <laughs> Building things up, then knocking them down. It's all part of the fun with diggers. Pepper and George love diggers. Everyone loves diggers. <laughs> The 
Peppa is feeding Goldie the fish. Dinner time, Goldie! Oh, Goldie isn't eating. She looks a bit sad. I think she is lonely. She hasn't got any fish friends. Maybe Goldie could visit the aquarium. What's the aquarium? The aquarium is a place where there are lots of fish. Shall we go to the aquarium, Goldie? <laughs> that means yes. The family have brought Goldie the fish to the aquarium. I hope we can find Goldie a friend. I'm sure we will, Peppa. The aquarium has every type of fish. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello. How many tickets, please? Two grown-ups and two children. And one fish, please. The fish goes free. Does the aquarium have every type of fish? Oh, yes. Probably. Good. We're looking for a friend for Goldie. Well, I hope you find one. Enjoy the aquarium. Thank, Thank you. you. The first room has a tank full of little fish. Fishy! Wow! There are millions of teeny fish. Fishy, fishy, fish, fish, swimming in the sea. Who will be a fishy friend for my fish, Goldie? <laughs> ho, ho, ho! Could any of these be Goldie's friend? Hmm. No. They are too small. Let's see what fish are in the next room. OK. Here is Candy Cat and her family. Hello, Candy. Hello, Peppa. Meow. What are you doing here? We come here all the time. It's better than watching TV. We like fish. <laughs> <laughs> We've come to find a friend for Goldie the fish. Oh, what's in this tank? I can't see anything. Oh, oh, Daddy Pig, there's a fish right in front of you. Where? Whoa! It is a very big fish. Wow! <laughs> Do you think this fish could be a friend for Goldie? No, it is too big. Never mind. Let's go to the next room. What's in this tank? Dinosaur. George thinks he has seen a dinosaur. It's not a dinosaur, George. It's a funny kind of fish called a seahorse. You know lots about fish. Yes, I like fish. <laughs> Can the seahorse be Goldie's friend? Uh, no, it's too big. Dinosaur-y. One more room to go. Oh, what's in this tank? Nothing. It's just green slime. Look. That green slime is algae. There must be some sort of fish in here. Whoa! There's a fish with big, long ears. It's a rabbit fish. <laughs> It is Miss Rabbit, wearing a diving costume. Ooh. She is cleaning the fish tank. <coughs> Miss Rabbit is saying hello. <coughs> it is difficult to talk underwater. <coughs> hello, Miss Rabbit! That was the last fish tank. Oh, we haven't found a friend for Goldie. What's in the next room? This is the Aquarium Cafe. Oh, goody! My favourite room. Hello, Peppa. Did you find a friend for Goldie? No. Oh, who's that? That's just Ginger, my pet goldfish. He loves the aquarium. Ho, oh, oh. ho! It looks like Goldie's found a friend after all. Goldie isn't lonely anymore. Hooray! And Goldie can visit Ginger any time she wants. <laughs> Grumpy Rabbit's Dinosaur Park. Today is Freddy Fox's birthday and all the children are going on a big adventure. Where are we going for your birthday, Freddy? I don't know, but I can't wait to get there. <laughs> We're here! <laughs> Welcome to Grumpy Rabbit's Dinosaur Park! Ooh! Dinosaur! 
<laughs> George loves dinosaurs. Are there really dinosaurs here? No, just pretend ones. Phew. Real dinosaurs died out 65 million years ago. Edmund knows a lot about dinosaurs. He is a clever clogs. But we've got better than real dinosaurs. We've got singing dinosaurs. We are the dinosaurs, the dinosaurs, the dinosaurs. We are the dinosaurs. Listen to us roar. <laughs> <laughs> They're a bit small. Yes. Aren't dinosaurs meant to be big? Ah, oh, yes. We do have a big dinosaur, a real whopper. Uh, would you like to meet it? Yes, please. These are its footprints. We just have to follow them. Ooh. These footprints look very real. Are you sure there's no living dinosaurs about, Grumpy Rabbit? Uh, quite sure, Daddy Pig. Over the boulders, everyone. <laughs> Across the bridge. <laughs> Through the cave. <laughs> oh, the footprints have stopped. Look, there are some green steps. It's a big slide. Whee! Whee! Whoa! Whee! Wow! It's a big dinosaur! Yes! It's my whopping, ginormous dinosaur slide! Ah! That is some dinosaur! He's a brontosaurus! Actually, the correct name is a patosaurus. You're a bit of a clever clogs, aren't you? Yes. Right, my little explorers. Are you ready for the next bit of the adventure? Yes, Grumpy Rabbit. We have to find an egg. An egg? But eggs are little. It could be anywhere. Leave it to me. Foxes love hunting for eggs. <laughs> Freddy Fox has a very good sense of smell. Wow! What an egg! It's huge! Why is the egg so big? It's a dinosaur egg. Is it real? No, it's better than real. It's pretend. Watch this. <laughs> the dinosaur egg has a birthday cake inside it. <laughs> It's not a pretend cake, is it, Grampy Rabbit? No, the cake is very real and very tasty. Who wants some? Me! Me! Me. Birthday boy first. Here you go, Freddy. Happy, Happy birthday, Freddy! <laughs> Time for a bit of song and dance. Everyone, copy me. Do the stomp, do the dinosaur stomp, do the roar. The dinosaur roar! Stomp, stomp, stomp! Roar, roar, roar! Do the dinosaur stomp! Stomp, roar! <laughs> <laughs> this is my best birthday ever! <laughs> <laughs> the noisy night! Peppa's family are having a sleepover at Cousin Chloe's house. Hello, everyone! Hello. Hello! You must be tired after your long journey. Yes, an early night would be nice. First, we'll put baby Alexander to bed. <laughs> <laughs> this is baby Alexander's bedroom. <laughs> Alexander likes noise. It sends him to sleep. <laughs> we like noise in this house. We're a noisy family. Peppa, George, you're staying in my room tonight. Oh, goody! <laughs> Peppa and George are excited to be sleeping in Cousin Chloe's bedroom. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Night, night. Everyone is tucked up in their beds, asleep. Whoa! 
Baby Alexander is awake. Peppa and George are awake. What's that noise? It's the vacuum cleaner. Um, why are you vacuuming at night? We're not disturbing you, are we? What? Oh, no. We found noise is the best way to get baby Alexander back to sleep. He likes noise. We're a noisy family. Everyone is back in their beds. Asleep. <coughs> baby Alexander is awake. To get Alexander to sleep. The more noise, the better. Is there another way that doesn't use noise? We do find noise is the best way. When George was a baby, we used to put him in his pram and wheel him around the house. And that always sent him to sleep. How strange. No loud noises. That's right. How many times round the house was it, Mummy Pig? Three times? Fifty times. Daddy Pig is pushing baby Alexander around the house. Fifty times. Good. Baby Alexander is asleep. Can you let me back in? I'll just switch the alarm off. Switch the alarm back on. Peppa. What are you doing up? I can't sleep, Daddy. It's a noisy night. OK, Peppa. Let's get you back to bed. Now, which bedroom are you staying in? Stop, Daddy. That's baby Alexander's room. Ah. Oh. <coughs> the light has woken baby Alexander. It's all right. I've got the vacuum cleaner. I've got the trumpet. Stop. Stop! I remember another quiet way we used to get George to sleep. Oh, yes! We drove him around in the car. I'll get the car started. Don't forget the alarm! Daddy Pig has set off the noisy house alarm. The noisy house has woken everyone up. It's Miss Rabbit in her rescue helicopter. Alexander to sleep. He's really fast asleep now. Oh, thanks to my noisy daddy. Well done, Daddy Pig. We should have you to stay more often. <laughs> <laughs> Skateboarding. Today, Pepper, George, Mummy, and Daddy Pig are at the park. Pepper has her scooter. <laughs> George has his tricycle. <laughs> Mummy Pig has her bicycle. And Daddy Pig has his skateboard. Daddy, can I have a go on your skateboard? Skateboarding is quite difficult, even for a grown-up like me. Yes, you don't have anything to hold on to. Please, can I have a go? Well, maybe Daddy could give you a lesson. Yes. I think you're just old enough to learn. Yippee! It's best to start off slowly, like this. Daddy Pig is good at skateboarding. Now it's your turn, Pepper. Yay! Put one foot on the board and push with the other. <laughs> well done, Pepper. And now try it with both feet on the board. Look at me! Wow! Well done! <laughs> I can skateboard! It is Belinda Bear and Simon Squirrel. They are big children. Hey, Peppa! Yo! Hello! Is that your skateboard? It's my daddy's. Can you skate on it? Yes! My daddy taught 
me. He's the best skateboarder in the world. Well, I suppose I am a bit of an expert at it. Really? So, what do you make of these ramps? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Simon and Belinda are very good at skateboarding. Peppa, would you like to try? Yes, but I can't skate like you. Hmm, but only because we're older than you. Yes, we're almost grown-ups. I'm nearly ten. Wow! Maybe you big children could give Peppa a lesson. Yes, please. OK, we'll teach you. As long as you keep it slow and safe. Of course, we'll keep it real cool. Let's go down this little ramp. I'm here to catch you, Peppa. OK, Daddy. I'm here to catch you too. <laughs> George is helping as well. <laughs> now, Peppa, put both feet on the board. Yes, I've done that before. And we'll give you a little push. Um, it looks high. I'll take you a bit lower. Ready now? It's still quite high. How about here? OK. Wow! I did it! I did it! Well done, Pepper. Yes, you did brilliantly. <laughs> I'm going to do it again. Watch this. <laughs> Oof! Are you all right? Yes, I think so. She's fine. When you're learning to skateboard, there's lots of falling off. Yes, that's why helmets are ace. Wow, that's so good. Can you do that, Daddy? Um, I expect I could if I wanted to. Please show us, Mr Pig. Oh, all right. Um, Daddy Pig, are you sure this is a good idea? Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Right, have you ever been on a ramp before? Not as such. Wow, he's gone to the highest ramp. Oh, hadn't realised quite how high this was. <laughs> Maybe I'll... Wow, look at him go! Ah! <laughs> My goodness! That was awesome! Unbelievable! My daddy is the best at skateboarding because he is very old. Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> daddy Pig loves skateboarding. Everyone loves skateboarding. Guinea pigs! Peppa is at playgroup with her friends. <laughs> Today, children, I would like to show you my pet guinea pigs. Aww. They're so cute. This is Ginger. He is very clever. Aww. And this is Brian. He is very sensitive. Aww. Now, children, I am going on holiday next week. And I need to find someone to look after Ginger and Brian. Me, me, me! It's a bit of work, and you will need to take them home. Me, me! I will do it! Are you sure, Peppa? Yes, I love animals! <laughs> Thank you, Peppa. It is home time. Mummy, Mummy! Look what I've got! Oh, what's that? Ginger and Brian. Peppa has very kindly agreed to look after my guinea pigs for the week. I see. Everything you need is here. Right. I suppose they're easy to look after. Oh, yes. This chart shows when they need feeding and when they are to be brushed. Brushed? Yes, they like to be brushed at these times each day. I see. And one brush in the middle of the night. Anything else? They do get lonely, so you must sleep in the same room as them. OK. Don't worry, Madam Gazelle. We will look after Ginger and Brian. Thank you, Peppa. Bye-bye. Bye. Ginger and Brian have arrived at Peppa's home. <laughs> Hello. This is Madam Gazelle. I forgot. You need hay for the guinea pigs. But you can buy it from the pet shop. OK. Thank you, Madam Gazelle. Goodbye. 
What's that? Um, the guinea pigs need hay from the pet shop. Right. Who wants to come to the pet shop? Me! Me! <laughs> See you later. This is the pet shop. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Miss Rabbit. I'm looking after Madame Gazelle's guinea pigs. Oh, yes. Ginger is the clever one and Brian is sensitive. Apparently, we need hay. Well, there is standard hay, premium hay or super premium deluxe hay. Super premium deluxe hay? Yes. It is more money, but that's the one Ginger and Brian like. It is bedtime at Peppa's house. Are you happy, Ginger and Brian? They have had food, water and very expensive hay. I don't think they could be any happier. Madame Gazelle said they get lonely. <coughs> yes, so I will be sleeping here to make sure they don't get lonely. And to brush them in the night time? Yes, Pepper. Brush them in the night time. Night, night. It is the middle of the night. Ooh. Hello, Daddy Pig here. Hello. This is Madame Gazelle. I just thought I would ring to remind you about the brushing. Yes, we're brushing them now. What? Who? Oh, oh, yes. Ah, oh, very good. I do hope they are no trouble. They're no trouble oh. at all. <laughs> Peppa and George have been looking after Ginger and Brian all week. They are so adorable. Here is Madame Gazelle. Madame Gazelle, you're back from your holiday. Yes, I came straight from the airport. How are Ginger and Brian? They are very happy. Oh, good. Thank you, Peppa, for all your hard work looking after them. It was easy. Would you like to look after them the next time I go on holiday? Ooh. Um... Yes, please. <laughs> Peppa loves looking after guinea pigs. Everyone loves looking after guinea pigs. <laughs> the lifeboat. Today, Captain Dog is taking Danny and Peppa to visit the lifeboat. Ahoy there, young sailors! Ahoy there, Grumpy Rabbit! We were hoping you could tell us all about the lifeboat. Of course. Hop aboard. <laughs> Lifeboats rescue people when they get into trouble at sea. Ooh. You wouldn't believe the number of people who set sail without a moment's thought. Yes. All they had to do was follow a couple of simple rules. Before setting sail, check the weather. Nice and sunny is good for sailing. And always take a phone in case you need to call for help. Simple rules, but it's amazing how many people don't follow them. And then they have to be rescued by my lifeboat. How does the lifeboat rescue them? Good question, Pepper. First, we ring this bell. <coughs> then I pull this lever and uh, whoosh! The lifeboat shoots down this ramp, making a huge splash to the rescue! Wow! Can I pull the lever now? No, Daddy. The lever can only be pulled in a real rescue. The lifeboat won't be launched today. Oh. Thank you for showing us the lifeboat, Grabby Rabbit. You're most welcome. Bye-bye! Bye! -bye. Bye. <laughs> All that talk of sailing makes me wish I could set sail again. But, Dad, you're staying at home now. Oh, yes. That's right. I promise to never set sail ever, ever, ever again. Mmm, I fancy a bit of cheese. Grampy Rabbit likes cheese. Oh, there is no cheese in the fridge. No problem. I'll just get some more. This is Madam Cow's cheese shop. It is on a little rock out at sea. Hello. Hello there. Uh, do you by any chance have any cheese? Of course. This is a cheese shop. We have lots and lots of cheese. Goodbye. 
Good, they've got cheese. Oh, but what if they sell all the cheese before I get over there? I'd better hurry! Oh dear, Grumpy Rabbit has set sail without his phone. And he has set sail without checking the weather. Oh, the motor seems to be broken. Maybe I should have checked the weather. Grumpy Rabbit is out at sea, all on his own. And I don't seem to have my phone. How can I call for help? I suppose I could try my voice. That's quite loud. Grumpy Rabbit has the loudest voice in the world. It's Grumpy Rabbit. He needs rescuing. Quick, back to the lifeboat. All aboard the lifeboats! Aye, aye, Captain Dog! Peppa, ring the bell! <laughs> Wait! I said I would never sail again! But Grumpy Rabbit needs rescuing! You're right! Daddy, pull the lever! This is brilliant! The lifeboat goes very fast! <laughs> Grumpy Rabbit! You saved me! Uh, would you mind if we carried on over to the cheese shop? Hello. Uh, one piece of cheese, please. Of course. What took you so long? Uh, I got into a bit of trouble on the sea. And we rescued Grumpy Rabbit. Yes, you did a fine job. Uh, and the good thing is that now you have seen exactly how the lifeboat works. <laughs> Grumpy Rabbit loves the lifeboat. Everybody loves the lifeboat. Rescuing Miss Rabbit. Pepper is visiting the library today. Miss Rabbit is in charge of the library. Hello, Pepper and George. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Everyone keeps quiet in the library so that books can be enjoyed in silence and calm. Here is Mr Bull. He has come to mend the library roof. Sorry, Miss Rabbits. Just mending the roof. Well, please mend it quietly. This is a library. OK. <gasps> the emergency telephone. Hello, rescue service. Miss Rabbit. Tiddles the Tartice is stuck up a tree again. I'll be right there. Back in a mo. Keep everyone quiet for me. OK. Thank goodness you're here. Tiddles is too high up to reach. Hmm. Do I need a helicopter or an aeroplane or... Oh, a ladder. What a bit of luck. There was already a ladder here. There. Finished. Lovely job. Ladder coming through. Stand back, everyone. Got you. Miss Rabbit has rescued Tiddles the Tortoise. Tiddles, you naughty boy. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Just doing my job. Hello, rescue service. I'm stuck on the roof. My ladder has vanished into thin air. Oh, uh, how strange. Don't worry, I'm on my way. Thank you. Oh, what would we do without Miss Rabbit? Hold tight, Mr Bull. I'm coming up. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Just doing my job. Miss Rabbit has rescued Mr Bull. Hang on, this is my ladder. Yes, lucky for you, I, uh, found it. Yes, that was lucky. Bye! Bye! See you later. Oh, so how am I going to get down? In the library, Pepper, George and Daddy Pig are quietly reading a story. Once upon a time, there lived a red monkey and... The emergency Rescue service. I'm away from my desk right now, but please leave a message after the beep. Hello? Hello? It's me, Miss Rabbit! Help! 
Hello? This is Daddy Pig. Please rescue me! I'm stuck on the library roof! Uh, how can we rescue you from the roof? Have you got a helicopter or an aeroplane? No. Or a ladder? No. What can we do? I almost can't bring myself to say it. We'll have to call... my dad. Hello, a Grampy Rabbit here. Hello, Dad. I'm at the library. I need rescuing. What? And bring a ladder. A ladder, you say? Don't worry, I'm on my way. Grumpy Rabbit is going to use a fire engine to rescue Miss Rabbit. Fire engines have ladders. Stand aside! Fire engine coming through! You can't drive a fire engine in here! Shh! Keep your voice down. This is a library. Sorry. Now, where is Miss Rabbit? Up on the roof. Oh, I see. That's why she said bring a ladder. Hang on! I'm coming up! Thank goodness! I'm saved! Miss Rabbit is rescued! Hooray! Thank you for rescuing me, Dad. Just doing my job. Miss Rabbit and Grampy Rabbit are good at rescuing. All rabbits are good at rescuing. 